Asatoma Sat Gamaya Tamasoma Jotir Gamaya Mrityorma Mritan Gamaya Ste We are back <laughs> So uh, during the last year or oh what I was recording in Portuguese more than 60 videos about uh, nakshatras and all this stuff and I was recording them only in Portuguese. For the last three or four videos, I started to record them also in English. Um, mainly because uh, there was one video, the uh, karmic vortex, <laughs> that I said, okay, it's time to uh, record also this in English. So these videos can talk uh, with more people because the first uh, season <laughs> of uh, Jyot by Namaste was very uh, on basic and fundamental concepts but now we are going to uh, dig a little bit deeper and uh, on the second season I'm also going to record this in English and we are going to have a methodology <laughs> So things can be a little bit organized. Um, we're going to have probably three videos of each nakshatra. Uh, the first video is going to have the following uh, aspects. The name and the number, its significances. Um, the stars and the Panchamahabhuta. Also, we are going to talk about the cosmic um, story uh, theater about uh, Rajas, Tamas and Sattva, the desire of the nakshatra, the <clears throat> basis above, uh, the celestial basis and the basis below, the terrestrial basis and the Shakti of them, the Gotra, the lineage, the direction, the symbol and the Devata. Uh, in this first part, we are going to use a lot of this book, The Divine Forces of Lunar Nakshatras by Rade. This book I bought in the Ayurveda Institute in the United States when I was studying there in the summer intensives with Dr. Ladd because I work mainly with Ayurveda and Skype and uh, other online forms of Ayurvedic and um, Jyotish and Yoga counseling and uh, when I first started reading this book was just like two years ago my head was just spinning <laughs> now I think uh, I'm a little bit more able to handle it uh, so this first part would be only to speak about um, the Devata but um, Maybe this is going to be a little bit too specific. This would be a, a course only on devatas. And uh, this can be arranged in online courses. But the point is that if you want to go deep in this subject, please uh, take a look on this book, The Divine Forces of Lorna Nakshatras, uh, as originally portrayed in the Vedas. Uh, the author is Rade. Uh, the picture is here. <laughs> there is still the price over it, but this is the photo. She is a very good scholar on the subject. This book is really, really nice. Now we can see her picture. It's here. Okay? I recommend. It's a very interesting book. The other book that we are going to use uh, in this part, and it's one of the other reference books on this subject, is one of Prashtrivedi books, the book of Nakshatras, uh, a comprehensive treatise on the 27 constellations. Very good book. Um, but uh, he doesn't as specify which is the uh, Sanskrit term that he is using, so we need just like to do reversal engineering to see why he's saying what he's saying. 
but it's a very good encyclopedic book on nakshatras. And uh, also in this first part, we are going to use uh, Bipin Bihari's book, uh, Myths and Symbols of Vedic Astrology, mainly on the part of the symbol of the nakshatra. So, <clears throat> this is going to be like one video. I hope it's not longer than 20-25 minutes. For each nakshatra, there is going to be this first part, part one. The part two, there is going to, it's going to start more with Muhurta and Prashna ground. It's going to be the gunas, the qualities of each nakshatra, the orientation of the mukha, uh, the mouth, and that means where the prana is flowing, uh, the auspicious and inauspicious activities that are, should be elected for this um, Muhurta purpose, purposes. If you don't know what is Muhurta and Prashna, Please watch one or two previous videos. Uh, I speak of this uh, in those videos. Then we are going to a section about mantras, places, a plant. This is mainly for uh, Ayurvedic uh, usage. And also the Ayurveda conceptualization on Vata, Pitta and Kappa about each nakshatra. And this part also we are going to use Komila Sutan's book, uh, The Nakshatra, The Stars Beyond the Zodiac, uh, very good book. And uh, uh, also in this section, we are going to talk about Vinshotari system, the lordship in Vinshotari system, which uh, Grahas has speci a specific uh, connotation relation to the Rashis there, and also this is going to be included in the nakshatras, for instance, uh, Surya, it's Ucha, it's exalted in the first 10 degrees of um, Aries signs, Mesha, Rashi. So it's, this is inside, uh, this is the first three padas, quarters of Ashwin nakshatra. So we are going to, see, to talk about these relations. Also, we are going to see specific of the four quarters, the four padas, and the sounds uh, in each one of them, because this is uh, important about the naming process in Vedic culture, Nama. If there is Vargotama uh, in those padas, if there is Gandanta, if there is Pusha Karaka Pada and Bhaga and Ashtamsha. All these concepts are here in this book of uh, Komila Santan, if you want to take a look. Uh, the next video I'm going to talk a little bit more about this. And if there is time, <laughs> I hope there is time, uh, I'm going to speak about the um, different aspects of Lagna, uh, Dai Lagna, and also the Grahas, the different uh, Navagrahas in each nakshatra. We are not going to go the different aspects of each graha in each pada because this is going to would be 108 combinations. This is a lot of stuff. This is just like a, a doctorate project <laughs> and here we are more uh, um, not so deep. <laughs> this would be just like a very good research project but it has to be done with a lot of people. Just uh, one single experience, even if the person has a lot of experience, it still just one Diotisha, and there is the uh, frame of that Diotisha in those uh, understanding. So it's better to do, to wait uh, just like two, five years to start this kind of project. Okay, so this is number two, uh, part two video of each nakshatra. Uh, we are going to talk mainly about the 27 of them and then we go to a budget because it's more specific. And in the third part, we are going to uh, relate to relationship um, aspects of nakshatras. We are going to talk about the gender, the gana, the varna. Uh, these are common concepts. And also we are going to talk about Vedam Nakshatra, uh, Yega Nakshatra Dosha, 
And Madhyama Rejo, this was uh, with an uh, astrologer, a Jyotisha, from Kerala, from Cochin, that uh, I was doing just like 10-day course there. It was very good in the beginning of 2017, this year. And uh, we are going to speak more about each one of these concepts because they are more like uh, Jyotish that are not easily recorded on books is more transmitted directly from uh, the teacher to the student and I, I feel that in Nakshatra uh, the system is not so much codified in books there is a lot of knowledge that is not opened up to the Western uh, libraries <laughs> because it's only transmitted uh, by uh, one mouth to one ear and um, not that this concept here that I'm talking is the best one but look uh, Jyotish from Kerala is really uh, astonishing in questions about Prashna uh, and also uh, relationship so it's they are more um, advanced in this area not they are the best, but their tradition is really strong this, on these grounds. And also in the third part, we are going to make the chart of the uh, Tarabala of each nakshatra. This is going to be very interesting. I, I, don't, I didn't see up to now in the internet each Tarabala of each nakshatra open and free. Maybe there are courses that give them, uh, but they are they are not free on the internet. So this is going to be very good. And also, uh, we are going to use uh, some uh, Nadi uh, concepts and that it's for uh, special concepts, Nadi Nakshatras, in from this book of Camilla Sutton. Uh, we are going to explain, explain more about that. There is also one book Maybe in English I'm going to talk about this, but in Portuguese I'm not. <laughs> uh, this book, The Roles of Nakshatra in Astrology, by Raj Kumar from Saga Publication. He also gives uh, Suryat uh, Nakshatra Bindus. There are special relations if you look uh, from the Surya point of view, not from Chandra. Here in the book of Komila, she says that uh, this... Uh, Nadi nakshatras can be used for every graha. It's her experience. It's a very respectable one, but also there are other experiences. Um, so about the other books that I didn't show, uh, one book that is just very um, basic and very uh, important in the um, written material that we find to buy. It's this, the Nakshatras, the Lunar Mentions of Vedic Astrology by Dennis Harness, uh, one of the main reference in the subject. We also have this from Viktikara, Raja Kishore, uh, 27 star, 27 gods, uh, the astrological mythology of ancient India. This is a very introductory, a very good introductory book if you want to get to know more about the devatas and this kind of stuff, I suggest you to start with this from uh, Viktikara and then you go to the divine forces of lunar nakshatras if you're not in the just like um, ground, if you don't know this subject very well and uh, you're starting to know about it. The same, I recommend you to start reading uh, Dennis Harness book before you go to Camilla's book and also uh, Travedi's, Trivedi's book, uh, the Prash Trivedi's book. I would recommend um, first Dennis, then Prash, then Camilla, or maybe Camilla, then Prash, depends. But the point is that uh, Prash Trivedi doesn't uh, Review the concept that he is working. He only translates, and uh, there is a lot of good information there. 
but uh, we can't see from where it's coming properly okay so in this third part we are going to talk about all these concepts and there is going to be charts and all this stuff we are going to go back to the board and we are going to have a lot of fun so I hope you uh, enjoy this second season in English it's going to be actually the first but it uh, doesn't matter it's going to be good anyway and uh, I'm glad that you're watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Namaste and see you soon.